and I love it. Hello, welcome back to my channel, My Free Life, and I'm Sax Williams. Or, thank you for stopping by. If it's your first time here, glad to have you. Don't forget to subscribe. So, for anybody who's been keeping up with anything that I do, you know that uh, everything that I'm trying to do is to basically build, design and build a completely mobile power grid. Uh, completely mobile. Um, I don't have, to say the least, a lot of faith in the stability of, of our system as far as the government goes right now. That's neither here nor there, but I'd rather be proactive and prepare myself in the event that uh, I need to be able to, to power myself. I mean, it's, it's no doubt about it. We've all uh, come accustomed to flipping on a light switch, having power, you know, having gas, uh, having natural gas. Those things are really hard to live without these days, uh, especially for people that have never even attempted to do it. Um, so for me and my family, I want to be prepared. So my idea, my concept is building a trailer, not necessarily building the trailer, but taking a trailer and building a completely mobile grid on that trailer. So a gasifier to take wood and convert wood into wood gas, take that wood gas, convert, convert that wood gas into electricity, build a reactor through for another uh, pyrolysis for plastic to convert plastic into liquid diesel fuel. Therefore, I can create the liquid diesel fuel to run any diesel motor, um, i.e. generators or, or, or whatever the case may be, cars. Um, same thing with, with the wood gas. You can technically run a car, a, a gas engine, off of wood gas. Get it tuned up right. But, um, so everything that I've been doing is, is designing and building stuff to eventually manifest this trailer into a reality. And I'm going to call it the LRT, Life Raft Trailer. So therefore, if anything goes wrong at a blink of an eye, all I got to do is whip the truck back, throw the trailer on it, and I can dip to the middle of the woods, to the middle of the mountains, anywhere I need to go, uh, far, far away from people, because in a post-apocalyptic type of situation, you don't want to be around people. But I want to have all of those things, power, gas, whatever. So the gasifier runs on wood pellets. Uh, I can just chunk up wood and make it run off wood, but wood pellets, uh, it runs real clean, real efficient, real easy. Um, so with that being said, the idea is to be able to produce everything mobily, uh, completely independent of needing to get outside resources. So that's why uh, in one of my previous videos, I built the uh, micro wood chipper that runs on Skillsaw because I'm going to use that the shavings, the sawdust that I create from that micro wood chipper to go into a pellet mill that I'm going to be building in one of my next videos to create my own wood pellets mobily as well. So I can still run that gasifier off of wood pellets without needing to find a Home Depot to go buy wood pellets at, considering there will be no Home Depot doors to go through if things get too crazy. So anyway, uh, like I said, if you're new here, thanks a lot. I appreciate you showing up. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit your bell for the notifications, and uh, um, stick around. Um, it's going to be a fun little journey. And on another note, if you're uh, not current with uh, what's going on in, in the political spectrum of things, uh, feel free to slide over to my other channel, uh, Thinking Out Loud, where I uh, it's a very active channel. I try to stay on that uh, pretty much daily, but basically I just try to keep up with what's going on in the news uh the real news not just news that's thrown out there on your mainstream media um it would be a good thing to uh to to know what's going on if if you're not i've never been political before but uh right now is a is a good time to get involved at least uh be knowledgeable about what's really going on out there a uh, big part of the reason why i'm doing what i'm doing here on this channel to prepare myself if i have to but anyway, I'd like to have you over there as well. Again, uh, that channel is called Thinking Out Loud, and we'll keep politics over there. We won't mix them in with this channel. All right.
let's get on into this video. All right, guys and gals, why don't you say we take this old smoker, turn it into a diesel fuel reactor? Sounds like a good idea. Let's strip it on down, find out what we got going on here. I'm gonna remove this smoker box. It's bolted in there. I'm gonna separate that from the rest of the smoker because I'm gonna be pulling all those legs off because I'm actually gonna be turning this tube vertical, welding that door shut so we got a cylinder up and down, airtight cylinder. And I'll probably end up using this maybe for one of the condensers or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get to it. But right now, we're separating the, uh, the smoker box. Step one complete. We've got the smoker box off of there. Now we'll uh, pull off them legs and flip it up vertical. And I'll probably take those same legs and weld those around the perimeter of this to uh, make the stand. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So just for visuals, the idea is we want it setting up vertical like this, uh, where we'll have our gas line coming out. We'll have an airtight feeder port. Gas line will come out, go to condenser one, out of condenser one, into condenser two, out of condenser two, into a uh, fill barrel. Um, so anyway, that's the idea. But I'm learning this as I go, just like y'all are watching me. So this is my little idea for turning that smoker into a diesel fuel reactor for taking a uh, plastic, recycled plastic, whatever, and uh, taking that through paralysis and getting us some diesel fuel. So that'll be the smoker, come up over to the first condenser, come up out of that first condenser, down to the second condenser, out of that second condenser, uh, into the third container, which will be uh, just a, a barrel, for a holding barrel. So. Let's see how this works. Pulling off this little shelf off the front right now. Let's get this thing out of here. Bam! Like what? Now, let's get rid of these legs. Pull those bolts, pull those legs off. Bam! Done! Who's your daddy? Please don't say me. I got enough child support as it is. All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna try to balance this thing on my uh, hot water tank to my little off-grid rocket stove hot water heater. Pick that apart so I can use that to balance this up on so I can uh, set the level and weld some legs on here and get ready to start building this diesel reactor chamber. All right, let's get it on. I'm going to be using eighth inch by two inch square steel tubing to make my legs. To go on up there, right there, right there, right there. All right, so we got the first leg set, ready to be welded on there. Level it out both ways. We're gonna tack it on, and then move on around to the other four legs so that we can uh, move my little low water container out there underneath. And this will be freestanding and uh, get on getting on. You know how we do it. All right, so we got the first leg tacked on. We're gonna wash, rinse, and repeat for the other three legs. So no sense in boring you with that video footage, but that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll move on. All right, let's go. All right, so thus far we got a freestanding. Got the four legs on there. And the reason why the two legs in the front are wider than the two legs in the back, I will explain to you in just a second my idea behind that theory is essentially I want to do this 
rocket stove type of concept like you use to fire up your coals with with just a little piece of paper the concept is building something like that making the whole base underneath here its own rocket stove now of course I can make this to where I've got a torch tip that I can build that's pushed by compressed air and burns recycled oil um, drip tip that will get this barrel incredibly incredibly hot to make sure that it gets the temperature to go through the pyrolysis however um, if you've been watching any of my videos the whole concept of everything that I do is to minimize the need of any outside resources so basically if I did the torch tip the hot tip like that I'm gonna have to have compressed air so I'm gonna have to have electricity to run the compressor or if I'm using an air bubble well that's only gonna push for so long before the air bubble runs out um, other words you know it's a lot easier to find little sticks little branches on the side of the road somewhere to to uh to run this thing um, than it is going to be to keep it energized or find and recycle fuel or not fuel but oil to use as fuel um, this will and my gasifier and all of this stuff is going to be built onto one trailer it's the intention is to make one completely mobile grid power grid that runs pretty much completely off of itself that creates everything from liquid diesel fuel which is what we're working on building right now off of recycled uh not recycled but recycling essentially uh plastic any old plastic you know run that through paralysis and 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 take it through its chemical reaction change to get liquid fuel this that i've already built is my gasifier so i already create uh wood gas out of sorry for the shakiness i already create wood gas out of this which in turn uh took a lawnmower motor converted that into running off of the wood gas and built my own generator that powers um a battery bank i just got one battery sitting there now but i will have a whole battery bank and everything because this little trailer the concept of having this all on a little bit of trailer was really cool it's just not realistic because once i get done adding the the reactor and all that stuff to what's going on it's just not going to be enough space but anywho um yeah anyway lost my train of thought let's move on Okay guys, so this is going to conclude part one of this build, which is uh, just turning the smoker, nasty, into a reactor. Well, getting ready to turn it into a reactor, but getting it, getting it to the position where we can do that. Um, we're going to need to get some a copper block so that we can fill in all the holes all the way around it. Put the copper block in the background and weld those holes in because that weld won't stick to copper. That was a nice bike that just rolled by. And then if you stick with me to the end screen here, I will put links directly to show you how to build your own gasifier, to show you how to build your own micro wood chipper, and to show you how to build your own generator from a lawnmower. So anyway, thanks for being here. We'll talk to you guys later.